Coming up on this edition of the RMAX Showcase, we put a nice little bow on 2016 as the calendar gets ready to roll over. We will sit down with the commissioner, Chris Graham, and pick his brain on what you can expect to see from the conference in 2017. Plus, we will put the finishing touches on the football and volleyball season as RMAX schools made deep runs in the NCAA tournament. And the winter sports will finally take center stage as basketball season is in full swing. We'll introduce you to a pair of sisters who have been running wild in their early part of the schedule. All that and much more on this edition of the RMAX Showcase, which starts right now. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the RMAC headquarters located in a very chilly Colorado Springs. I'm Jason Carter, your host for the next half an hour. We'll begin by officially putting a bow on the fall sports season as a couple of RMAC schools made good runs in the NCAA tournament. In football, both the Colorado School of Mines and Colorado Mesa made it to the big bracket. Mesa's season ended in the first round after a 34-32 loss to the number eight team in the country, Texas A&M Commerce. The Mavericks end the year with a 9-3 record. Colorado Mines, who shared the RMAC regular season crown with Mesa and CSU Pueblo, earned the sixth seed and pulled off a big upset in round one, nearly doubling up Southwest Baptist 63-35. The Ore Digger season ran out of steam the following week as they dropped a 38-17 decision to 15th ranked Ferris State. Along the way, Colorado Mines quarterback Justin Dvorak finishes career as the conference's all-time leader in passing yards and second in Division II history with 134 career touchdowns. He also set several school records, including completion percentage. He, along with Western State running back Austin Eckler, were named finalists for the Harlan Hill Trophy, which is given to the top player in all of Division II football. Think the Heisman Trophy for D2. Eckler finishes his career as Western's all-time leader in rushing yards, attempts, and touchdowns. He also ends the year averaging nearly 150 yards per game, which was second in the entire country. When it was all said and done, Dvorak would receive the most votes and become the second player in Colorado Mines history to win the Harlan Hill Trophy. He's the third from the RMAC ever, joining fellow ore digger Chad Freehoff in 2004 and two-time winner Danny Woodhead from Chandron State. Eckler finishes his record-breaking career eighth in the voting. The volleyball season saw Metro State win the regular season crown while Colorado Mines upset the Roadrunners for the conference tournament title. Those two teams, plus Mesa and Regis, all made it to the NCAA tournament. Regis and Mesa dropped their opening round matchups. The Mavericks had to travel to Texas to face fellow Colorado school Metro State while the Rangers fell to Tarleton State. Metro and Mines both advanced to the second round. That was as far as the Ore Diggers would go as they lose a 3-1 decision to top seed Angelo State while the Roadrunners get through to the Sweet 16 with a four-set win over Tarleton. The round of 16 saw the RMAC season officially come to an end as Metro gets swept by Angelo on the Bells' home court. Metro finishes the season with a 27-5 overall record. I'm now joined by the commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, Chris Graham. Chris, first off, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your day. Absolutely, um, Jason. Can you just put a nice bow on 2016, kind of give us your thoughts of the entire academic and athletic year? Well, it's always a successful one, and particularly when we have an opportunity to honor our student athletes. We had a tremendous Hall of Fame this summer with a lot of great former student athletes and honorees, uh, national championships, contenders, exciting last minute conference championships. Uh, we had a, a woman of the year finalist from Adams State University, Lauren Martin, and it was one of the uh, crowning achievements of female athletics in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. I would say it's a, as successful of a year as we can have. A very successful year, both for individual athletes, institutions, and teams throughout the conference. Oh, without a doubt, Jason. MSU Denver hosted the Spring Sports Festival last, last year. Colorado School of Mines had one of our top Learfield Cup standings finishes. That's a cumulative total of all the success of all programs at the national level at their institution. And compared to other Division II programs, one of the top finishes 
collectively for the season, and of course Adams State University winning yet another men's cross country title this past fall down in St. Leo, Florida. It was a great year for the RMAC. You also, you've released some of the NCAA academic data. Um, and you mentioned student athletes around the conference perform incredibly well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And it continues, that trend continues. In the three years that I've been here, our student athletes continue to outperform our general student population by a significant amount. A 12% difference, our student athletes above our general student population in graduation rates in the academic progress ratings with the, uh, that the NCA. Uh, releases each year so we couldn't be more proud of the success our student athletes have in the classroom which first and foremost is mo most important and then of course on the fields and courts when they're competing. What are some of the goals and uh, visions you have for next year? Well first and foremost we have to replace a full-time employee, a long-standing employee Eric Danner, who sat in your chair for over, yes. for over a decade and did an outstanding job here with the showcase. We're going to miss Eric, but we wish him well in his new position with the Western Athletic Conference in Denver. Uh, we're very excited to be adding new employees to the staff, have a, a great set of interns to, to enhance our services to the membership. That will be an ongoing vision and goal of ours, is to continue to build better championships and better experiences for our student athletes. In addition to that, we're moving locations. We've been a, a tenant of UCCS across the street here in Colorado Springs for many years. We love the city. It's a great sports city. We're going to be moving in with USA Triathlon, a national governing body. They've, they've been uh, very hospitable in preparing to host us as a new tenant in their building. So we're very excited about that move into uh, new office space. We're going to be adding Dixie State University in 2018-19. That was a decision made by our President's Council about two months ago in their fall meeting at Colorado School of Mines. It was a unanimous vote to bring them in as a 16th member. Of course, we were uh, disheartened when we lost Western New Mexico out of Silver City, a longtime member, but we're extremely delighted to have Dixie State in, very strong athletic programs, uh, sound academics, and uh, in a beautiful city, St. George, Utah. We're very much looking forward to partnering them with West, Westminster, our, uh, one of our most recent members. And, and finally, in 2017, we're going to continue our emphasis on student-athlete mental health. It's become an emphasis of the NCAA, the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Brian Hainline, and we ha have identified issues on our campuses where we think we can support our student-athletes better in, in cooperation in conjunction with um, medical professionals and student support services on campus, connecting the athletic department better, establishing policies. We have some demands that student athletes find that on occasion or commonly will be, will, uh, be greater than what the general student finds and we want to make sure we're supporting those student athletes with any efforts that we can provide and policies uh, regarding mental health and ensuring their, their well-being. Awesome. Chris, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Appreciate it. Good luck in 2017 as the calendar flips over. Thank you, Jason. That wraps up the first portion of our show. When we come back, we dive right into the winter sports season with some conference action on the hardwood for both the men and women. Don't go anywhere. The RMAX Showcase will be back after this. Ten dollars.